They prepared an experiment package to be left on the moon, an automated scientific station called Alpha that would send information to Earth for a year, powered by a nuclear electric generator. They moved to the site selected to set up the station. They put together the experiment station. Alcep, an acronym for Apollo Lunar Surface Experiments Package. Piece by piece, they assembled the station. The solar wind experiment to measure atomic particles thrown off by the sun as they strike the moon. A device to measure the moon's tenuous atmosphere. A magnetometer to measure the lunar magnetic field, which would later be found to be 10 to 20 times stronger than many scientists had expected. A seismometer to measure physical properties of the crust and interior and the data station to collect the experimental measurements and transmit them to Earth. With ALSEP deployed, Conrad and Dean began collecting geological samples. They drove a core tube into the surface to collect soil from various depths. We show your uh, three hours and seven minutes into it, into the EVA, and we'd like you back uh, to the lens and start to close out in ten minutes. That's a three point one seven. As Dick Gordon circled the moon, Pete Conrad and Al Bean rested for their next expedition. Their total time on the lunar surface had been just under four hours. Twelve and a half hours later, they went out again. Before they began their geological expedition to the surrounding craters and to surveyor, they worked around the lunar module, getting ready the tools and containers they would need. As Bean readied the equipment, Conrad went out to the Alcep station to check an instrument about which the Earth-based scientists had shown some concern. After Conrad checked the Alcep experiment, they began the geological traverse during which they would cover about a mile and take samples from ship craters. Okay, 
When they arrived at Surveyor, they targeted. While the Surveyor activities were a bonus, they were symbolic, symbolic of the success of Apollo 12. Well, we're uh, just going to move to the area. Now, look, you can see which way it came in. See the way it was stupid. As you know, they have broke up there. It's still set there. Let's go use the area. I'm taking a bit to the Surveyor. It's probably planted here. That's no problem. So they left Surveyor, and after a stop at the crater called Block, they were back at the lunar module, collecting the solar wind experiment, showing the rock boxes. Dean re-entered the lunar module first. Conrad, using a transfer apparatus similar to a clothes line reel, sent the samples up to him. Then, Conrad, too, left the lunar surface. There was no time to rest. The lunar module had to be prepared for liftoff from the moon and rendezvous with Yankee Clipper. Looking good, Steve. Three, two, one, lift off. Now, where you go? I did it far. John? So they rose to their rendezvous, and from Dick Gordon and Yankee Clippers. The two vehicles moved together for docking. Conrad and Dean rejoined Dick Gordon in the command module, bringing with them the samples, experiments, and photographs to be returned to Earth. The next step, jettison the lunar module, then send it crashing into the moon to help calibrate the seismometer left on the surface. This instrument was designed to measure the intensity of meteor impacts, moonquakes, landslides, and similar phenomena. The men on Earth monitored the output of the seismometer, waiting for impact. Three, two, one, mark. Then the 
After 55 minutes, the reverberation still has not faded completely. Apollo 12 continued its orbit to the moon, gathering photography for scientific study, including the Fra Mauro area, the landing site for Apollo 13. And then it was time to head back to Earth. The burn to send them home would take place behind the moon. On Earth, we waited. Waited for Apollo 12 once more. Shortly before re-entry, the crew of Apollo 12 watched the Earth move to blot out the sun. Then Apollo 12 hit the atmosphere of Earth at 25,000 miles an hour. The log of Apollo 12 does not end with flashdown. It only begins. And on the moon, an experimental station called Alpha sends back its data. Each experiment representing a milestone in our knowledge of the moon. The lunar atmosphere really is solid. It has been turned on, and uh, I'm very happy to say it's functioning perfectly. The settlement technology has been functioning perfectly since the alpha has been turned on. The size of the experiment, as has been reported, is functioning in all respects properly. We're going to have to, to throw the book away and uh, begin over again, which seems to be the case for the moon in general. Apollo 12 was a milestone in manned extraterrestrial exploration. It achieved its pinpoint landing as close as possible to its selected target, marked by surveyors. It set a pace and a pattern of scientific exploration that future missions will not only follow, but will go beyond.